banking, you're brought in as a junior person. You're kind of put on these deal teams. You're flown to the client. You're putting on you're doing pitches. You're doing. You're working on live deals potentially for doing acquisitions if you're an M and A or doing some sort of analysis for clients. For within a placement within the private uh, fund advisory group within a bank, how should I think about it? You're you're brought yeah, in. Are you similar? The structure is very similar, except for you know instead of getting staffed on a deal that takes a couple months, you're usually getting staffed on a fundraising that's going to take a year um, or longer, you know, depending on I mean, hopefully shorter. Um, mm-hmm. But it's you know the the assignments with clients tend to be longer, which I enjoyed because then you end up. Um, you know, going deeper with those clients. I think also one thing that was helpful in terms of my pivot from banking into um, into the fundraising was that um, while I was in banking, I worked on an IPO and we did a lot of, you know, S1 drafting. And I think that whole process is very similar to um, the, the private placement memorandum drafting in um, in private equity. And so I was able to talk about that process and my contribution to it, why I liked it, really getting to understand, you know, the company and, you know, how we were presenting it. And it's very similar in terms of, you know, on the, on the placement agent side. So that just thinking back to it, you know, that was actually um, a, a useful thing that I talked a lot about in the interview process of why I thought I would like the job of being a placement agent.